In this segment, we're going to continue talking about the example we are taking to illustrate the problems with uh, getting large round of errors in Mayugas method. Now, we're not saying that that's going to happen every time, but it is more prone to it than the other methods. So, the example which we're doing is that we ended up with this at the end of the forward elimination steps. This would be regard 20, 15, 10, 0, 0 0.001, 0 0.5, uh, 0, 0, 3, 3, So we had uh, three questions, three unknowns. We had three questions, three unknowns, and we are trying to solve for them. And this is what we obtained at the end of the forward elimination steps as the three equations, three unknowns. And what we want to do is we want to do back substitution now. We want to do back substitution uh, to be able to show that what kind of values do we get for x1, x2, x3. And as we said that we are using five in all of our operations we are using five significant digits uh, with chopping. So that's something which you have to keep in mind when you are doing forward elimination. That's what we did in the previous segment. And now here in the back substitution part. So the first uh, equation which I need to solve is the last equation because that's why it's called back substitution. So I get uh, 23375 x of 3 is equal to 23374. So in order to calculate x of 3, I will just divide the right-hand side by the coefficient of x of 3. And this is what I get. I get 0 0.9995. That's what I get. So again, keep in mind that this is the value of x of 3, which I get, 0 0.9995. And again, I'm not used any more. I'm not showing you any more digits more than that. The reason why that is so is because we are using five significant digits with chopping. So we get x of 3 equal to 0 0.9. Let's go and see what x of 2 will turn out to be. So in order to calculate x of 2, I need to write down the second equation, which is 0 0.001x of 2 plus 8.5x of 3 is equal to 8.501. This is my second equation when I uh, expand it. I only know the, what the value of x of 3 is, so I can calculate what the value of x of 2 is. So let me write down what x of 2 is. It will be 8.501 minus 8.5x of 3 divided by 0 0.001. So this one here I get 8.501 minus 8.5 times 0 0.9995 and divided by 0 0.001. So that's the value which I have for x of 3. Now again, keep in mind that I cannot do this whole calculation on the calculator in one step. or just, um, What I mean by one step is that uh, you put in these numbers and whatever answer you get is the answer. No, you'll have to conduct this step first. Uh, use your five significant digit chopping once you have multiplied the two. Then do the subtraction, which is within five significant digits with chopping, and then do the division with five significant digits with chopping. So, each step has to be done separately. 8.501 minus this times this uh, turns out to be 8.4995. So when you multiply this by this, you're going to get a, a different, uh, you have some digits after this, but again, you are only using five significant digits chopping. That's why using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, divided by 0 0.001. Again, the subtraction between these two numbers has to be done with five significant is with chopping and that turns out to be 0 0.0015. Now you're going to divide by 0 0.001 and you're going to get uh, 1.5 from there. So that's what turns out to be the value of x2 when you are conducting these steps by doing all the arithmetic operations, intermediate as well as final, uh, using five significant digits with chopping. So 1.5 is the answer for x2. Let's go and see what the value of x1 is. So if you look at the first equation, we have 20x1 plus 15x2 plus 10x3 is equal to 8.501. That's what we have here. Not 8.501. It's 45. 
So that's the first equation which we have. And uh, we're going to calculate x1 from here. x of 1 is 45 minus 15 times x2 minus 10 times x3 divided by 20. So we're going to substitute the value of x2, which is 1.5, the value of x3, which we got as 0 0.99995, divided by 20. Again, each of these operations have to be done by using five significant digits with chopping. So we have to be careful about uh, what those numbers are. So we get 45 minus 22.5 and minus 9.99. Nine, then divided by 20. Now, I'm going to uh, subtract this from 45 and whatever I get from there, within 5 centimeters, I'm going to subtract it from there. So that turns out to be 12.5. So each uh, one has to be done separately. So I get 12.5. And then I divide by 20, and I get 12.500, uh, zero, zero, and I get... Um, 0 0.625 as the answer for x1. So we can we will see now that by using these five significant digits with chopping, the value which I obtain for x1, x2, and x3, x1, x2, and x3, which I obtain here, uh, x1 is uh, 0 0.625, x2 is 1.5, and this is 0 0.9995. The exact value which we have uh, for this is actually 1, 1, and 1. So this is a good example to show that how Nagashi method can, is prone to large round of errors. We're taking a specific example, but it doesn't happen all the time, but this is a good example to show that it can, even with the, by taking five significant digits with chopping, which is a large number of significant digits which you are taking. And that's the end of uh, this segment.